Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create a circular parallax effect in PowerPoint 2016. I'll be creating a series of videos showing you how to create different types of parallax animations. And this is the example of the circular parallax animation that I will be demonstrating. It's really simple, but quite visually appealing. So first let me show you the setup, and then I'll show you step by step. As you can see, there are three layers of the same image overlaid one top of the other. Essentially, I created two cropped images from the original in the form of circles of two different sizes. To do so, duplicate the slide with the original image by right-clicking on it and choosing Duplicate Slide. Next, go to the Insert tab and then Shapes and then choose the oval shape and then insert it over top of the duplicated image. Then duplicate the shape using Ctrl D and then reduce the size of the circular shape. And make sure that both the shapes are centered on the slide. Next, right click on the slide and then choose Duplicate Slide. And then click on the inner circular shape and then hit the delete key on a keyboard. Next, click on the background image and while having the Ctrl key press on a keyboard, click on the circular shape. So essentially, I've selected both the image and the circular shape. Next, go to the Format tab, and under Merge Shapes section, choose Intersect. And you'll be left with this cropped circular image. Next, go to the other duplicated slide, and this time, click on the bigger circular shape, and then hit the Delete key on a keyboard. And then repeat the same process to create another circular image. So essentially, we now have two circular images. Next, copy the larger circular image, Control C, and then paste it, Control V, over top of the original image. Next, we'll apply an inner shadow to the circular image. To do so, right click on the circular image, and then choose Format Picture, and then go to the Effects tab, and then drop down the presets under the shadow section and choose the inside center. You will then have the first image overlaid with a shadow. Next, repeat the same process on the second circular image. Then increase the size of the larger circular image like so. Now it's time to apply the animation. So click on the original image in the background and then go to the animations tab and drop down the animations panel and under the Emphasis section, choose Grow and Shrink. Next, click on the larger circular shape, and then apply the same Grow and Shrink animation. Under the Effect Options, leave these defaults as is. Next, open the Animation pane, and under the Timing section, change the duration to around 4.75 seconds. Double-click on the first animation entry in the Animation pane, and you will see this dialog box pop up. Maintain the size of 150%, but apply a smooth end to it using the slider. Next, double click on the second animation entry, and this time reduce the size to 125% and apply a smooth end to it. Leave the smaller circular shape as is. Finally, in the animations pane, drop down the first element and choose Start with Previous, and do the same thing for the second element. And this is what the circular parallax animation looks like.